Hey everybody, it's Janice with Creating Through Chaos, and I'm gonna start this project off by using one of the five by seven canvases from Dollar Tree. And I'm just gonna cut the canvas off of the frame. Once I have the canvas cut off the frame, I'm gonna cut the canvas down to size, and that is just where the lines are from where it was on the wood. So I'm just gonna cut that all down so that all four of those sides are nice and clean. Next, I'm gonna take these printables, and these are from my store. And I'm going to cut out this top printable. These are five by five sunflower printables. And I'm gonna cut them to make sure that they are completely cut square. Then I'm gonna lay it on my canvas just to make sure that it fits. And then I'm going to set those aside. Next, I'm gonna take some of these small paint stirrers. And these are the one gallon paint stirrers. And I'm gonna take two of those. I actually ended up doing three of these. I'm gonna line them up onto the canvas to see how wide the canvas is, I'm going to make a mark and then I'm going to cut both of those pieces. I got these cutters that I'm going to use at Home Depot. They do have some available on Amazon, but the ones at Home Depot are much better. Now I'm going to line these up on my thing to make sure that I cut them to size. Next, I'm going to take my printable and I'm going to lay that on my canvas. And then I'm going to take those pieces and I'm going to lay them on the top and the bottom because that's where they're going to go. And I'm just going to move the printable until I have it where I want it on the canvas that these top and bottom pieces are going to cover it. Once I have figured out where I want it on the canvas, I'm just going to take a pencil and make a mark so that I know where to put all of my Mod Podge and where to set the printable afterwards. So I'm just going to put a nice coat of Mod Podge on here. And as you can see my marks, this means that that's where the printable is going to go. And this is just helpful so I put it in the right spot. I'm going to lay my printable on and then smooth it out with my hands. And then I'm going to set that aside to dry. And I'm going to stain both of my pieces. And I actually did three, like I said. You'll see where I did with the other one after. And I'm just using my antique wax and one of my applicators. If you're interested in applicators, I can put a link in the comments along with the link to the printables. And I'm just going to stain both of those pieces. I actually did three, like I said. And once I have those all stained, I'm going to let those dry for a few minutes. And then I'm gonna come back and I'm going to glue them on. I'm gonna glue one to the top of my canvas and one to the bottom of my canvas. Making sure that I cover that printable. Next, I'm going to take these little furniture tacks that I had and I'm going to cut the backing off of them and I just used a pair of snips to do that. And then I'm going to glue one to the top left hand side and then the top right hand side and then the bottom and the right and left. And these are just to add a little pretty detail to it. I thought they looked really cute. They were kind of on the shiny side, so once I had them all in, I'm going to take my antique wax and just use what's left on it to kind of cover it up a little bit. So I'm just going to kind of dab some on each one of them, kind of give them a rustic look, take away from that shiny color. And look how cute that is already. Next, I'm going to take this twine. I'm going to hot glue this to the back on either side. Just gonna put a little bit of glue down, put that down, and then kind of figure out how long I want it to be, and then wrap around to the other side. Put a little more glue over there. And then I'm gonna cut off that excess. And this is where the other piece of the paint stick came in. And like I said, I had stained it, and I'm just gonna put that right over those pieces of twine to make sure that they don't come apart. And I figured that I would stain it so that it looked really nice from the front and the back. And that is it. How stinking cute is this? I absolutely love this printable that I created and this project turned out so super cute. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this project. And as always, don't forget to spread the chaos.